Hi everybody, welcome back to the last of my updated for 2024 Beginner's Guide to Modding PC Daisy Community Servers because in this one we're going to be looking at installing a map um, and we're going to be installing uh, the Takistan map and the reason why I've chose this one is because it's a relatively simple install. It's a really interesting map as well, very different to lots of other maps. Um, but it also comes complete with a mission file. So it gives you a really good idea of how to install a map. And when you take on maybe some of the more challenging installs, you'll be familiar with the concepts uh, involved. So let me um, jump out of this here. We have access to the launcher. Let's just close this up and let's close that up like that. Um, so, of course, what you're going to want to do is you, you're going to want to go into uh, the uh, Steam client or go visit Steam on the web and you're going to subscribe to Takistan Plus and we're going to subscribe to Dabs Framework as well. That's a dependency for this one. Um, and then when you open up the launcher, that will then... Uh, let's just close that error down. That will then download them in your mod section. However, before we go any further, I just want to remind everybody that this is a series of videos. And in the description below this one, you'll find a link to the playlist that has all of these videos. And the idea is that you'll also see a previous video as well. There might be next ones after this one, but the, I'm planning for this one really to be the, the last one that I record for the time being. Because the idea is they start right at the beginning of simply what can you do with a Daisy PC community server. Um, and then each one slowly builds on the next one. We look a lot at JSON and XML builds to start off with right through to this one which is installing a completely different map. Now if you're coming this coming at this from the console side of things you'll also see a link to my console community server beginners guide as well where things are a little bit different obviously we can't at the moment anyway install different maps like this. Okay so you're going to subscribe to Texten Plus, you're going to subscribe to Dabs Framework, you're going to open up the launcher so that um, they download and then we want to go and have a look at um, Takistan Plus so on any particular um, mod just open it up and click on the three dots and click on open folder in Windows Explorer and this will take us to your workshop folder and what we can do is we can go to Takistan Plus and we just have a look inside and what you find in the add-ons folder you get the PBOs kind of the engine behind the mod then you get the key, so we're going to put that in the keys folder. And then you get the mission. So this is really important. So if we go in here, we've got offline.takistan plus. So as you can see, here we've got types, we've got events, we've got globals, we've got all this sort of stuff. So it's important to remember that when we do install a new map with a, with its own mission, things like the CFG gameplay settings that we've played, we've played around with before things like the globals settings we've played around with uh, for controlling damage, things like boosted loot, um, things like um, whether things like guns spawn in with mags and suppressors and all that sort of stuff. You've kind of got to start again with that because these files are a completely different mission. This isn't Chernus, this isn't Enoch, this is different. So we've got a completely fresh types.xml. We've got a completely fresh messages.xml for doing server restarts. So you've got to kind of, when you install a new map, you've really got to give yourself a to-do list of, right, okay, so what do I want to do to the mission of this map? Do I want to have boosted loot? How often do I want the server to restart? Do I want guns to spawn in with mags? Do I want items to spawn in pristine? that sort of thing and then you work through and going off the previous videos we've done that's when you can add those in also please bear in mind that these when you get down to things like um uh, when you get down to things like there's my discord there is it when you when you get down to things like um map mods they are uh much much bigger than normal ones so if we go down here we can see that this does it say how big it is so it's 2.6 gigabytes so that's quite a big da download but it's also quite a big upload so everything takes a lot longer and especially when these uh, types of mods get updated as well there's a lot more data going backwards and forwards and so bear that in mind so for example i don't have a particularly good internet connection here 
So what that means is I tend to avoid some of the bigger maps because it takes too long to update them. So things like Deer Isle, which is a fantastic map, but it takes me forever to upload it. So if I've got a problem, I you know, it takes too long to sort it out. I would concentrate on something like Namalsk. Anyway, though, so <laughs> let's get on over to our FTP program. We're using FileZilla in this case, and you'll want to connect to your server. Um, we've got Daisy standalone on the right. This is my remote server, and then we're in our workshop folder. Scroll down, and of course, we want to start off by uploading Takistan Plus. So we right click upload, and that will slowly then upload there. And then we want to go back up a little bit, and then we we'll want to upload. Whoop, if you, if you ever click on something by accident, just scroll back up to the top. We want to go to Dabs Framework, Upload, and upload that one, and that will then upload to there. Then we want to go into the Keys for Dabs Framework, so click on Keys, go to the Keys folder on the server, and then we'd right-click, upload that, and that uploads to there, as you can see it's already there. And then if we scroll back down to, on the left, scroll back down to Techistan Plus, where has it gone? Uh, da, 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 da. Click on keys there, and then we would right click, upload the keys, site revenge key, as you can see that is there. So the keys are now in place. So what we're going to do now is we're now going to uh, um, upload the mission. Again, if you accidentally click on it, just go back up there. So if we click on the little plus, we can see we've got the mission here. It's, and there it is, offline.takistan plus. So on our server, if we scroll down to mission and just left uh, left click on MP missions, then right click on off offline.takistan plus and hit upload. That will then add it to the list. So now in our missions we've got Chandra's plus, we've got Enoch, and we've got Takistan plus. So that's good to go. However, we need to make sure we tell our server to start with Takistan Plus as the mission. And of course, we need to make sure that we tell the server to start with the Takistan Plus mod and also the DABS framework mod. So what we want to do now is we're going to go on over to our server and we're going to stop our server. It's always best to stop when you're doing slightly more complicated things. and That'll take you for a few seconds. And then what we want to do is we want to go to our advanced settings, our expert settings, sorry, if you're on um, Nitrado. This is the server dz.config file if you're running your own box or you've got access to the server dz.config file. And then once it's stopped, what you can do is if you then go to um, the workshop folder where you've got it and then go into the mission, I like to just left click that a couple of times and then right click it so we're copying the name of the mission. Then I go into the template here and then I just paste that in. So template equals offline.takistan plus. So we can click save changes. So that's telling the server dz.config. Look, when you start, please start with offline.takistan plus. But remember, we need to tell it to start with the mod as well. So in uh, Nitrado, you go to settings. Um, this would be in your windows.bat or windows batch file if you've got access to that if you're running a dedicated box or a local server or something like that and then what we need to make sure we do is at the end of the uh, additional mods um, we have semicolon then at dabs framework semicolon at takistan plus note please that we've taken away the trader don't want trader to load <coughs> because we haven't got a trader set up for Takistan, so there's no point having it loaded up. Again, if you're not quite sure about your spelling, just use copy and paste. So go back to your workshop folder and just left click and then right click that. So Takistan Plus, go back here, put a semicolon in and then paste in at Takistan Plus. And then you can do the same thing with Dabs Framework. Left click left click again right click that copy and then what you do is you'd have dabs framework loading before takistan plus so on this particular server we've got community framework and zombie admin tools much framework much stuff pack code lock and at dabs framework and at takistan plus in between each one there's a little semicolon there and we would just save changes like so and that would do that and then basically we can start the server 
And this seems an awful lot easier than it actually is doing it like this, basically because I've already uploaded the mods. When you come to do it, unless you've got a really fast um, connection, you'll find it will take a lot longer. But there we go, my friend. That is how you install Texan Plus. That's the basis of installing all of the maps. It's just that many of the others have more, slightly more complicated things to do. Hopefully you find this series of videos useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.